Okay, ladies and gents, welcome back to the workshop and part five of the Mr. Vintage uh, Radio Control Plane Build. If you've seen the previous video, you'll know that uh, the wing construction is well underway now. And uh, I'd just like to take you through what I've done so far. So if I turn the camera around, you'll be able to see what I've been up to. Uh, as you can see, this is the left hand wing panel. Um, it's 90% completed I would say now, it's all fully glued. Um, I'm using the magnetic building board that I keep going on about. You should really try one of these if you've never used one. Um, all the capping strips have now been installed and glued into place on all the ribs and on the leading edge etc. Uh, the strengthening zigzaggy parts have been glued in. Uh, the servo tray is obviously glued in, uh, so it's pretty well uh, good to go. All that's left is uh, there's a trailing edge strip to go on the back, but I really want to just give that a light sanding just to make sure everything's all parallel before I glue that on. Um, and then it just leaves me to fit the wing tips. Now the wing tips have got lightning holes, these five holes here. Uh, what I've done... I've um, taken the tracing on some grease proof paper of where the hole positions go and also the triangular bits that sort of glue on the top that uh, give the wing tip support. Uh, when I drill through this it's not critical on the size of the hole or the position uh, because it's just to take some of the weight out of the balsa wood. Uh, so it's nothing fantastic. So what I'm going to do, I've got the two wing tips here, one for each side. Um, I'm going to... Uh, Put the two parts together, uh, put the tracing on the top, like so. A bit tricky to do one-handed, but you get the idea. And then transfer these holes straight the way through. The tool for the job is going to be this uh, hole cutter uh, that I've had by me for, for years. It's a bit coarse for balsa wood, to be fair, but I'll, I'll just take my time and... Um, you can either use these with a pistol drill, you know, an uh, electric drill, or you can use uh, a pedestal type driller here, which is uh, probably what I'm going to use, to be fair. Yep. So once uh, we've got the lightning holes drilled in position, then I'm going to glue those in the sort of correct position on the wing, like so. Then we have some big balsa blocks to be glued on the front which will be sanded down to the profile of the rib and also then the triangular pieces will be glued in if I sort of drop them on you'll be able to see where they go roughly something along those lines like so uh, once that's done all it needs then is a very light lick over all the joints with some uh, sandpaper on the sandpapering block uh, just to level everything up and make everything nice ready for covering um, and then we're on for, for making the, the opposite side. So that's where we are up to the wing. Um, in one of my previous videos I told you that the kit uh, when I got to making this back part of the fuselage here uh, I was some wooden uh, parts missing. Some of this 6x6 six six framework was missing out of the kit. So I contacted the guy who put the kit together, uh, Stuart Solomon um, from Solutions. And uh, he got back to me straight away. Uh, he's very apologetic. And uh, he put the missing wood straight into the post. Uh, really good service I've had from him. And also I asked him about... The uh, corner brackets, this is a picture I've taken of, uh, of the actual model at, at the Cosford Air Show. These corner brackets are obviously aren't supplied in the kit, you have to make these yourself. So I, I asked him if uh, they were available to buy and uh, he came back and supplied me with the material already marked out, as you can see, to make the brackets. And uh, he included that all free of charge, which I thought was very good of him. So uh, I must say that uh, the customer service um, offered by uh, Stuart has been absolutely second to none. So thank you very much for that, Stuart, because uh, I'm now able to continue with the build. I think um, in the last video I showed 
that I was pegging the sides of the cross pieces there with the cocktail stick. All those have been done now, as you can see. So all that's ready to go. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, treat the framework to uh, some matte uh, or satin uh, varnish and then fit the you know the blingy bits the the brackets on the top so uh, that's all sort of ready to go for the next stage so that's it for this video uh, thanks very much for watching if you've enjoyed the series so far please like and subscribe um, click the little bell button and you'll get further notifications for when a new video uh, is available so thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.